all of a sudden a secret agreement, and I can't tell you because I've been told by the attorney I can't say, Danny Crow, Danny, I'm not saying anything on the money. Uh, but the state did FOIA for, for the agreement. Everything's redacted out as far as money. And my statement was, and what I told Danny, and I'll tell everyone here, is that if the citizens knew how much money we were getting from this multi-billion dollar company, they would be upset. And it goes right to the heart of what Dee Dee's talking about. The unfairness so of it. Scanlon doesn't pay the business license thing, but all the rest of us do. No, no, they're category. There's not a category for a utility company in Casey. Oh. So I was in favor of creating one just like we do for all the other folks, but they didn't do that. So crony capitalism in Casey. So, and it's happening across the state. I know you guys are going to talk about that, so I'm not going to steal your thunder. So it's a good segue now. This is what I've been doing since 2003, since the day I became passionate, since the day I became involved, and this is what I want to do once I'm elected. As Senator, the very first thing, the thing I'm the most passionate about, the thing I've been fighting on policy <coughs> council is the dissolution of the other fund. Does anyone even know that outside of Tom and Rick and Rich, does anyone even know that we have a fund called the other fund and how it's derived? Anything about it? State budget, largest budget in state history last year, right under $22 billion, but all we heard about was depression. We're in a depression, almost depression. We're in a recession. Um, budget cuts, this is all we hear. But the budget was right under $22 billion, almost a billion more than the year before. And correct me if I'm wrong here. The general budget is $5.7 billion. We passed roll call voting. Thank you to grassroots activists last year. We now get to see how they vote on the general fund, which is important. Okay. Then the federal fund comes in. I'd like to say that we could do something about it. I, I certainly hope we can. We tried to push back, as you saw Sanford tried to do, and you saw how that went on accepting federal funds. So we'll leave it there. There are federal dollars that come back into the state that are earmarked for federal projects and interstates and, and those types of things. There's another fund called the Other Fund. My favorite name for it is Petty Cash. Or Slush Fund, because I cannot believe something is actually called Other. Uh, most people I tell that to can't believe it either. That money has come in, comes into the fund in the way of fines and fees. So anyone here have a driver's license, hunting license, fishing license, license to carry? We can go on and on. That fund last year was $8.2 billion, two and a half billion more than the general fund. Under other. Under other. Under petty cash. We're going to rename it. <laughs> Under petty cash. Okay. 8.2 billion. Six people on an other fund oversight committee oversee this, Nikki Setzler being one of the six. He hasn't pushed for the dissolution of the other funds in the 34 years he's been in office. I don't anticipate him changing now unless he watches this videotape. Hello, Nikki. Maybe he will. He sits on the other fund oversight committee that they then report to the OSO Budget and Control Board. It's a wonderful thing. We need to push for the dissolution of these monies. There needs to be no other fund. It's got to roll into the general fund where it's subject to up and down recorded votes. Mm -hmm. has to be. It's essential to good government. Can't believe it's not being done. That will be the very first thing I introduce as soon as I'm elected. And I will not let that go. It is important. It is essential to good government. The other thing, you know, that's, that's legislation I'm going to introduce. The other thing I'm passionate about, and you guys are going to speak about it, I hate crony capitalism. I hate tax incentives given to business. I've never asked for one. I don't want one. I don't invite you into my business. In fact, I'd like for you to get out. But I hate when you give my competition an unfair advantage over me. Mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. That is crony capitalism. And we are in the business of doing that. And how many can we afford? Amazon, Boeing, let's keep going. How many of these can we really afford? And is that truly capitalism? Why don't we do like Build of Dreams? If you build it, they will come. Why don't we just create a tax system that makes businesses want to come here? We're a beautiful state. We've got great resources. We don't have, thankfully, unions. We could do a hell of a lot better with education. But we've got some wonderful things here in this state. Let's create a tax situation where they want to come versus doling out tax pennies. Last year, last year, we actually collected less, 
or excuse me, yes, we collected less. <laughs> Thank you. Then we gave away an incentive. It, it, it is it is unbelievable the tax incentives that we're giving. So it's an unfair advantage. Another thing is we've got to figure out a way to tax these internet sales. We have to. We've got small businesses. I got Chris's camera down in Aiken, and he talks to me about how in the world could he compete with Amazon. Mm. He can't. Why is he paying his taxes when he can't even compete? It's time for a consumption tax. It's past here, here. time. I'm passionate about it. 47% of the people in the state don't pay any tax at all. You heard my story. I've worked my fanny off. I've been successful. Why are you going to take it away and redistribute it to the 47% of the people, not all of them, but a large majority, who don't care to work quite as hard as I did? <coughs> it's not right. It's not fair. It's time for a different tax structure. It's time for you guys to come up here shortly. <laughs> Very passionate about that. This is something I talked about in a breakfast on Friday with Casey Mafia. We got into this a little bit when we were talking about ethics in the House and Senate. We talked about, what was it, the, I think this says it on the nerve. Effort grows to end legislative fox guarding ethics in house. You know they police themselves. Tom, and I'm not trying to put you on the spot because I actually think you're one of the good guys. Uh, how often do, does anyone recuse himself with a conflict of interest? Um, in the budget, um, I do for about 11 or 12 of the votes, but and I know others do, but not very often. Did a lot of uh, people recuse themselves with a tort reform vote? No. There are a lot of, are there a lot of attorneys over there? They're off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So what we have here is we have a system, yes, the laws are in place, but then they get to police themselves. So today, in, I think this was in the Orangeburg newspaper, I think this is Orangeburg, the Times and Democrat, and then I know that the Policy Council did a piece on it as well. It looks like Representative Kevin Ryan of Georgetown and Mike Rose of Dorchester have introduced legislation that will move that out of out of um, their ability to self-police. Said this issue, I'm quoting, is a fundamental, if not more fundamental to good government as roll call voting. It's time you no longer get to police yourself. We can't. That's not right. And I'll push for that every day, and I don't care if I have to be the one on the Senate floor saying, excuse me, you should recuse yourself. You have a conflict of interest. I'll do it. The only friends I need are the friends back home who sent me here. I have a life. I told you about my life. I love my life very much. I don't want to be governor. I don't want to go to D.C. I want to improve South Carolina government, make it good for the people, make it accountable. My motto, my campaign slogan is standing on principle, fighting for you. I promise you I will every day because I'm going to do my time and I'm going home to live with the laws I made. And that's what good government is. And every day I'll be living the life of good government. I'll answer Thank you. Any of your questions? So.